Now, complete Bay Area news coverage. This is the 10 o'clock news on KTVU Channel 2. The heat in the runoff race for mayor of San Jose may have just been turned up a notch. With debates set to begin tomorrow, there are accusations tonight that one of the candidates cast a crucial city council vote to the financial benefit of a client. Remember this story? Probably not. The issue got almost no coverage. The Merck buried it in the local section days later. So let's recap. Since before he was the council member from District 4, Chuck Reed has maintained a private legal practice with the firm Reed & Roth. He and his firm represented clients such as commercial developer Legacy Partners, Valley Christian School, and a group called Los Esteros Partnership. Los Esteros Partnership wanted to build a gas station on the border between Milpitas and San Jose. Reed, their lawyer, had just been elected to the city council, where, in 2001, he declined to vote on rezoning the property to allow a gas station. You see, California, like most states, has strict laws prohibiting elected officials from voting on issues where there is a conflict of interest, like, for example, when a council member was paid money to advocate on a certain issue. But there are other ways to help your business partners. In 2003, Reed voted to move forward with a policy that would allow liquor and food to be sold at gas stations, a potential windfall for the Los Esteros partnership. Reed was towing a fine line. Later that year, he declined to vote on an agreement that would provide sewage to the Los Esteros property, but in September, switched again, casting the sixth and deciding vote to continue with the development of the new food and liquor policy. Finally, in October and December of 2005, after he announced his intention to run for mayor, he abstained from voting on the lucrative food and liquor ordinance, saying, Yes, uh, thank you, Vice Mayor Chavez. I'm going to abstain from this because I have a client that owns a property that, that they'd like to put a gas station on and they'd like to sell groceries. So. Really? Well, isn't that a conflict, given the previous votes? Chuck's excuse to Channel 2. I knew at one point my client was interested in uh, leasing a property for a gas station, but it was much later. Okay, something's being hidden. That's clear. But here's the thing. Chuck should have known he didn't have to hide anything. After all, whatever the ethical fallout, there was no legal conflict because Chuck had already made sure there couldn't be. Between taking office in 2001 and 2006, Chuck Reed, city council member, represented Valley Christian School over 20 times in court. The same Valley Christian that got $125 from Chuck for which the taxpayers reimbursed him. Surely, Chuck giving tax dollars to a Christian organization that he had a business relationship with would raise eyebrows, right? Nope. Before Chuck got on the council, he began the process of limiting his stake in Reed and Roth, his law firm, to below 10%. Anything below a 10% financial stake and conflicts don't apply. And if he makes under $10,000, Reed doesn't have to list any clients for whom he works. So when he voted on Los Esteros, despite sometimes voting and sometimes not, it didn't matter. His behind was already covered. But maybe he was worried it wasn't covered enough. Right before he became mayor, Chuck went one step further. Last year, he formed a separate legal firm, Chuck Reed Inc. And Chuck Reed Inc., as far as we can tell, has only one client, Reed and Roth. Reed can make thousands from his client, Reed and Roth, but he doesn't have to report who the clients of his clients are. There's simply no way to tell who Reed represents. Who is paying him to advocate for them? Is he still voting on behalf of his clients without anyone knowing? Is this the open government we were promised? <laughs>